You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. We here at NACA are determined to see CNA celebrated for their important work and dedication. Thank you for watching and honoring CNAs. Please feel free to share these videos. It seems in long-term healthcare, CNAs are often taken for granted. We depend on them to deliver over 90% of the direct care to the residents. They bathe, dress, feed, and to reposition the residents they care for. They listen to the residents' stories, read their mail to them, and help them find their favorite shows on television. CNAs take care of assignments ranging from eight residents to upwards of 30, depending on the shift, the nursing home, and the staffing. And when their shift is over, their work is finished, Actually, it's never finished, but they clock out and they head home. That's what Crystal Miller Fulton, CNA, thought just a few weeks ago. So let's start at the beginning. In Corbin, Kentucky, Ray Decker, age 59, sat down to eat a meal with some friends a couple of weeks ago on the patio at a local restaurant when he started feeling blurry-eyed and uncomfortable. His friends later told them that he quickly and suddenly lost consciousness, passed out cold at the table. Decker's friends eating with him began to motion for help. They were frantic. That's when Whitney County resident and CNA, Crystal Miller Fulton, rushed over to help. I had just come in. I hadn't been there, but for a few minutes, I had just gotten off work, she said. He started like he was falling out of his chair. A guy that was there with him looked at me. I rushed over there and got him back up in his chair. I was just hollering and trying to talk to him and stuff. I reached down to get a pulse on him and I didn't get a pulse. So I went up to his neck to get a pulse and I couldn't. Crystal, the CNA reports. Crystal instructed somebody nearby to call for an ambulance. I just kept hitting on him and trying to talk to him. He started changing a little bit, slight of color. He started losing his color, noted Crystal. So I just kind of rubbed his chest real hard and popped him in the chest and he caught his breath. They call it a sternal rub, Crystal reports. Crystal says that after Decker did regain consciousness, she stayed by his side talking to him and helping him take sips of cold water that he requested. It was scary, she said on the incident. Afterwards, when I was trying to get him the ice water and stuff, I had to hold it with both hands because I was shaking so bad. In the moment, you don't think about it. You just think about what you've got to do to help, says Crystal. And she's exactly right. Decker says that he hadn't felt bad any that day prior to the incident. He was rushed to the hospital once the ambulance arrived on scene and stayed for a few days to have tests and blood work performed. He was, have, he was found to have an electrolyte imbalance, a severe shortage of sodium. Crystal says the whole episode lasted around 10 minutes, but it felt like a lifetime for her. When asked why she decided to help Decker as quickly as she did, Crystal said, that's my job. I've done it for 14 years, and I just feel like if I can make a way to help somebody, I will. I mean, I would want somebody to help me. Decker was released from the hospital and says that he's feeling better and on the mend. Both Crystal and Decker say they haven't been in contact with each other since then, but Crystal did say that she had reached out to mutual friends the two shared and made sure to check that he was okay. 
It turns out Crystal's husband is in the same fantasy football league as Decker, and she says that he has checked on his well-being as well. It's nice to let the public know that there are people out there that are kind enough to pretty much help a stranger, Decker said. You know, I don't know Crystal very well. She works in the profession and she was doing her job off duty. I appreciate it so much because I don't know what would have happened if she hadn't been around. Crystal's work doesn't end when she clocks out of her job. Crystal lives her work through dedication, compassion, and selflessness, always helping others. So today, let's honor hero Crystal Miller Bolton, CNA hero.